Hi, I'm going to explain how you can measure an angle using a protractor. Something my students often get confused with is the fact that protractors have two sets of measurements on them. Let's look at the protractor more closely. Here you can see that the protractor has measurements starting from the left, beginning at zero degrees, following it all the way along to 180 degrees. On the right side of the protractor, it has measurements beginning at zero degrees, following all the way along to 180 degrees. Degrees is the unit that we measure angles in. So why the two measurements? If we have a look at these two angles here, you can see that just like the protractor, having measurements from zero to 180 degrees, starting from the left, this angle here opens from the left with this arm starting here, and it closes on the right hand side. To measure this angle, we would use the measurements beginning on the left hand side of the protractor, starting at zero. And we would measure to where it finishes on the right hand arm. If we look at this angle, we notice that it opens from the right. So it goes from the right to the left hand arm of the angle. Here we can see that on the right hand side, it starts at zero and goes all the way around to 180 degrees. We would use the inner measurements to measure the right hand angle and the outer measurements to measure the left hand. One easy way of remembering which, ang which set of measurements to use for which angle is that if it opens from the left, you use the numbers starting from the zero on the left. If it opens to the right, use a set of numbers starting from zero on the right. It's pretty easy. Okay, let's measure these angles. If I drag my protractor over, I make sure that the crosshairs of the protractor are directly over the vertex of the angle. The vertex is where the angle meets at a point. That's the actual measurement that you're, that you're going to be looking at. So, if we turn our protractor, we also need to make sure that the 180 degree line, the straight line, is directly over the left hand arm of the angle. So we start to measure from zero, from the left hand side of the protractor, all the way around to where the arm of the angle is. And we stop measuring here. You can see this line here, it is at 135, or just over 135 degrees. If we use our protractor to measure this angle, again, make sure the crosshairs are directly over the vertex of the angle and that the line that forms a straight line on the protractor is directly over the right hand arm of your angle. To measure this one we'd actually look at the numbers or the degrees of measurement that start at zero from the right hand side of your protractor. So we count up from zero all the way to where it finishes. 60. So this angle here is 60 degrees. So a simple way to remember how to measure angles is that if your angle opens from the left, use the measurements on the left. If your angle opens from the right, use the measurements that start from zero on the right. Left, right, zero on the left, zero on the right. Arms on the left, arms on the right. Hopefully this has made things clear for you.